Hey guys, I'm Leo Reinhardt, the Guitar Maniac. About six months ago, I reviewed the Harley Benton Powerplant ISO 2 power supply, and I've got a lot of requests in this video to review the famed DC8 power supply. So, here you go. And of course, I can see the reason why I've got so many requests to review this power supply. It's got a pretty same design, uh, the similar LEDs, similar switches, and uh, the same outputs and the same basic instruction for a bass player, green go, red stop. And of course I want to see if it was built the same way on the inside as the one from Harley Benton. But unfortunately I can't disassemble it completely. But I can clearly see that this one has slightly different circuit than the power plant ISO 2 Pro. But the one thing that I want to know if it has the isolated outputs as it claims to have. And for this purpose I use my multimeter. And as you can see the outputs A and B are isolated from each other and from the rest of the outputs. But as for the rest 9 volt DC outputs, all of them are nothing but a daisy chain. And what does it mean? Well, if you have only three devices and you connect it to the outputs A, B and one of these six outputs, well, it works proper way. But if you connect more than two devices in one of these uh, six outputs, well, you might get a lot of background noise. And in fact, I don't want if I have to complain because it clearly says that these six outputs are isolated from A and B, but nobody claimed that they are isolated from each other. So it isn't kind of a lie as it was with the fame mini power. But in conclusion, well, a lot of people wanted to see the review on this device because it's uh, 10 euro cheaper than the Harley Benton power plant ISO 2. But well, this is just a daisy chain in a box. So, pay 10 euro more and get Harley Benton power plant ISO 2 Pro. And so, that's all for today. Have a nice day and keep on rocking.